hello guys welcome back to another Android studio tutorial in this episode we are going to learn about how to create a simple Google map Android application to display Google map you need to connect your Android application to the Google map server for getting a response from Google map server you need to put some API key in your Android application you will get the API key from Google Developer Console by providing your SHA1 certificate fingerprint and your application package name. So here in this episode I am going to show you how to create a simple Google Map Android application. The Google Map API is the part of Google Play service. So first you need to make sure that you installed the Google Play service in your Android SDK. So open Android Studio and start the SDK manager. Open up the standalone SDK manager. Now inside the SDK manager search for an extras folder, here is the extras folder and you need to find out the Google Play service, here it is Google Play service. Here I already installed Google Play services, if it is not installed you need to install Google Play service first. Now start a new Android Studio project. And I name it as. Google map demo app and click next now here it is ice cream sandwich there is no need to change anything here and click next now from this window you need to select the Google map activity instead of a blank activity select the Google maps activity and click next now here is the activity name layout name and title and finally click finish now the project is created now we have to get the API key from Google developer console to get the API key from Google developer console you need to submit some credentials so the Android studio will automatically create the needed credential your credential contains an SHA1 certificate fingerprint and your application package name here this line contain my SHA1 certificate fingerprint and application package name I hide this area because of security reasons and after getting the API key from Google Developer Console you need to write the key here okay and here there is a URL is available you can use this URL to directly open up the Google Developer Console and this URL contain the needed credentials also you can use this information to use an existing use reuse an existing API key so here I am going to add the information manually into the Google developer Google Play developer console and now we have it to submit the needed credentials inside Google developer console for that open up your browser and search for Google developer console and open the Google developer console website From this option, create a new project and here you need to provide a project name. Here I name it as Google Map Demo App Project and click create option. Now here you can see the project creation status. Now the project is created. Okay, now the project is created and you can see the current project name from here. Now the current project is Google Map Demo App Project. Now we need to submit the credentials into the Google Developer Console. For that, open up this option APIs and select credentials. Here we have to get 
an API key for the Android application. Here there is two options create new client ID and create new key. We need an API key for Android application. So select this option create new key and we need the API key for Android application. So select Android key and here you need to provide the needed credentials. The credentials contain an SH1 certificate fingerprint and your application package name followed by a semicolon. Here is an example of credential. This one represent an SH1 certificate fingerprint and uh, put the semicolon and after that you have to provide your application package name. You will get all this information from, from Android Studio. So now I am going to copy the needed details from Android Studio. So in Android Studio you will get the needed credential from this line. You need to copy this entire line and submit in Google Developer Console. So now I am going to copy this line. Okay, now I submit the credentials in Google Developer Console. Now I need to click the create button. So now I am going to click the create button. Okay, now here the API key is generated. You can see the API key from here and here is the Android application details that contain the certificate fingerprint and the application package name and here is application activation date and here is the activated by email address. So now you need to copy this API key and put it in your Android application. Okay, before leave the Google Developer Console, you need to make one more thing. Uh, you need to enable the API for the project. So now the current project is Google Map Demo App Project. So you need to select the APIs option and select the Google Maps Android API. And you need to ena enable the API for the current project. So you need to enable it. So click this button, enable API. Now the Google Map API is enabled for the project. Now you can copy the API key from credentials and put it in your Android application. Okay, now here is an example of API key. So this is not a complete API key. I remove some portion of this API key because of security reasons. And every API key is start with the, this word AI is a day. Uh, now we successfully add the API key here. Now we need to search some permissions in the Android manifest.xml file. To display Google map, uh, you need to get the internet permission. You need to get some user current location permission, etc. So we can check it out in the in Android manifest.xml file. Here the Android Studio automatically add all the needed permission. This is because when we cre when we create this project we select the google map activity that's why android studio add all these permissions these permissions are needed for getting the internet get the current internet network state and get the current user location from the uh, from the provider net, the network provider and from gps and here some metadata is available these permissions are for getting the user current location and here there is some, some metadata. The first two metadata is for the GPS and the second metadata is for submitting the Google Map API key. And here this one is the Google Play service version. Okay, so there is no need to add all this information. Android Studio will add all this information for you. Now we have to check it on the map activity java all these code segments are auto generated and in this method there is a marker is added and here is a title for the marker and i change that one into this is my first marker okay now we need to get some coordinates of some places from google map here you need to put the latitude and longitude of some places now search for Google map. And open Google map. And search for some places. I search some places. Yeah. And search some places. 
and I need to get the coordinates of this place so right click that place and choose this option where, where what is here and this is the coordinates of that particular place so I copy these coordinates now open up Android Studio and instead of this 0 I need to put that coordinates okay now we successfully add the marker a new marker into the Google map now we can test the application on a real device it is not possible to run this application on a virtual device because to display Google map you need the Google Play service so you need to run this application on a real device now I install the application on a real device and here is the application now I'm going to open that application open it now it will display Google map now here is the marker we add a marker into this application so you can find the title on the marker by just click that marker and this is the title this is my first marker I hope you understand the concepts thank you for watching see you in the next episode